Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. So let's get into it, you guys. And what's going on, y'all? This will be your boy, Scatter by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV-based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday, and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on, you guys? Like I said before in the first video, I don't have many. Um, I don't really don't have no church announcements. The only thing that I'm going to remind you guys is that Boys Night Out is coming back later this summer, and we're here on July the 2nd, meaning... Um, in about two or two weeks or so, we will be coming together to discuss the brand new season of Boys Night Out, which will be airing late August, early September. So make sure you guys tune in. It's about that time for Boys Night Out. There's no night out like a Boys Night Out, honey. All right. All righty then. So that's pretty much all that we got. So we got some love and hip hop Atlanta tea as of right now. And of course, it involves Miss Mama D and also involves Bambi and a little bit of Erica Dixon and, and Diamond. That's really what it that what it um involves right now. Now, you guys already know Mama D been going in on Bambi as of late, and um, she's been praising Erica Dixon and even been praising Diamond, um, one person that she threatened to whoop her ass a couple of years back. But now she's had enough of Bambi. And we're going to talk about two things in regards to Mama D. First things first, we're going to talk about how she called out Bambi for thirst trapping, okay, um, during the divorce Um finalizations okay so we're about to go ahead and um look at that real fast and then we're going to continue on with the next she don't know how to be a mother because if she did she wouldn't be on instagram showing her butt nakedness and trying to pull in men you ain't getting paid for it so why is you showing your body when ain't no man ain't lied to us come on but one thing about it if that's all he did but you doing 10, 50 things behind the world back that you ain't telling on TV, girl, to this boy. And his he got a mama, baby. And I'm not going to let you do it. And since your mama ain't going to step in and tell you to take your naked behind off Instagram, then let me tell her. Get your naked behind. Be a lady, honey. Have some that in the man, what she don't get is other men going to watch this show this season and see how she's trying to drag scrap it. And they're going to be kept with that. They're going to her and throw her out like they've been doing before Scrappy Metal. Buckle, sit on. She always down in him. Always. You ain't gonna call my son last week. Why you can't go on social media and say I'm a good person? Cause you ain't, bitch. Why you want him to lie like you lie? She don't know how to be a mother. Cause if she did, she wouldn't be on Instagram showing. I just got to say this. I just I just got to say this. Mama D has a lot of nerve. And I know that everybody is not team Bambi. I know Bambi is not y'all favorite person at all. But Mama D got a lot of nerve. And I'm going to tell you why she has a whole lot of nerve. Because, girl, you the same person that raised your kids in a whorehouse. So nobody should be taking any motherhood tips from you. You, you, you raised your kids in a crack house amongst a bunch of um, unnecessary influences, you know, like whores, drug dealers. They finding crack pipes in the hallways when they get home from school, all of those things. So how are you going to come down on her and tell her that she don't know how to be a mother when Scrap pretty much exposed your ass last season for not being a good mother and not knowing not knowing nothing because he didn't have a mother in his life because he had you as a mother. You can't speak on nobody else's motherhood skills at the foul, Mama D. You, you are one person that cannot speak on nobody's motherhood. Your kids are the, due to the decisions that your ass made, okay? And if Scrap, and, and if Bambi wants to post Thirst traps, she fucking can. She's not married anymore. She got every right to post whatever the mother she want to. She ain't married to Scrappy no more. And let's stop acting like Scrappy is innocent in this situation. Because let the true feeling be said, Bambi ain't innocent and neither is mother fucking Scrappy, okay? He's not innocent and neither is Bambi. So I'm so sick of you always trying to make it seem like Scrappy is not a part of the problem. He's a big part of the motherfucking problem and we've been seeing it from the very beginning. He was a big part of the motherfucking problem when he was with Erica Dixon, when he was up here fucking Shay while he was with Erica and you didn't have no motherfucking problem with that. You was upholding him and his bullshit. 
like you still are. But you want to sit up here and criticize somebody else's motherhood when you when you wrote the book on being a fucked up ass parent. When your own son said that he's fucked up because of you, because you weird as you can't talk about nobody in a motherfucking motherhood, Mama D. Period. I don't care what you say. I don't give up what nobody else got to say. You are the last mother to talk about somebody else in a motherfucking mamahood. And that's on period. I said what the fuck I said too. I know a lot of y'all going to come in these comments and try to defend Mama D and her bullshit because y'all don't motherfucking like Bambi. And that's okay. But I'm going to tell the truth either way. Mama D ain't got no right to speak on nobody's motherhood. Now, we're going to move on to the next video, and this is what she had to say. Now, she bringing Erica Dixon and Diamond into it. How ironic. Let's get into that. Erica Miller's not nobody's friend, but she put her finger in my son's face, and y'all think y'all, that scene coming up, she kept putting her finger in scrappy face. Y'all going to see, trying to play Bad Girls Club. So, since they're going to play Bad Girls Club, me, Erica, Scrappy's Erica, and Diamond, and um uh, and me, we're gonna play WWE. Uh, okay. Y'all wanna be the mean girls club this season? We WWE then. Okay, we're gonna tag team on them. Yeah, how about that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But y'all watch it because these I'm not the only mama that has gone through this with these girls, with these children. You know what I'm saying? And they sit up there and lie, tell all you doing lies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honey. Her commitment's not nobody's friend, but she put her finger in my son. I love how she's now on Erica Dixon's side when for many, many years she tried to make it seem like she was nothing for Scrappy. She was no good for Scrappy. Scrappy need to leave her the fuck alone and talking about you not feeling that bitch and all this other shit that you said about her on the earlier season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Now you want to sit up here and say you, her, and Diamond, somebody else that you didn't even with like that. Now you fucking with her. Talking about y'all gonna go up against Bambi and it's gonna be WWE and all this other shit. It's it, it's giving I'm pathetic because I'm teaming up with the same motherfuckers that I didn't want my son with. And now that we got a common person, a common enemy, now I'm gonna leak up with these girls. Mama D, go somewhere and sit your old ass down. You don't need to be trying to get involved in nothing mother. And nothing motherfucking else. Scrap it and I already told you once before that he don't want you in his damn business. And you keep on getting involved in his motherfucking business. Stay the fuck out of it. Don't you got your own issue? Where Ernest said? With his old fine ass. Where the fuck is Ernest at? Shouldn't he be taking care of you at this motherfucking moment? Or you ain't with him no more? Inquire reminds me on the motherfucking no, Mama D. Because you're doing way too much. You stay up in other folks' motherfucking business. Talking about you going to team up with Erica and Diamond. Are you for real? You can't be for real, Mama D. You just can't be for real. You look and you sound stupid. But you are stupid. You've been stupid. And that's just what it is. Girl, bye. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway. That's pretty much all for this one. I ain't got too much more to give y'all on this video. Um, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below in the description box. With that being said, you guys, your boy Scotty is up out of here. You will be getting a review from um, Love and Marriage Detroit um, later on today. I'll be reviewing episodes one and two, so make sure you guys are ready for that. Okay, I'm going to review it, honey. So with that being said, y'all, your boys up out here until my next video. I holla!